from Arnhem Land to Disneyland. These young dancers are headed stateside to perform in a Disney Christmas parade and aboard a cruise to Mexico. I never thought that I would ever go to America, let alone perform like at Disneyland in front of like thousands like of people. <laughs> It's not just the dancing that has these kids excited. There's a place called Bippity Boppity Bouquet and you get to like turn into a princess. But it's sad because it's like 5 to 12 and I'm going to be 13. No! <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight, go, it's some bold self-expression in a remote mining town with limited extracurriculars. People do do like BMX, so like riding bikes or motocross. And so it's mostly like a town for boys because like of the fishing and camping. Dancing's fun. Come try it. Maybe you'll like it too. But the eye-watering costs of travel are stretching some families' budgets. Often we only go to one or two competitions a year because otherwise, yeah, the cost just gets a bit too much. It wasn't until we actually sort of started to break down the budget for this recent grant application to see that we had no idea how much this was going to cost. With around 30 layoffs on the cards at the town's major mine, the dance school's working to offset the cost. Fundraising, um, working with the community, doing like uh, stalls at markets, um, offering our services to other non-for-profit organisations and businesses. A lot of hard work, but that's the thing with dance, you've got to put in the hard work to get rewarded. Banding together in hopes of delivering these dancers an early Christmas miracle. Lillian Rangia, ABC News, Boy.